Dan Aykroyd is not here for your all-female Ghostbusters besmirchment. In an interview with People, the OG 1984 Ghostbusters star and co-writer defended the 2016 reboot, which was hounded by misogynist trolls before it even saw the light of a theater release. I liked the movie director, Paul Feig made with those spectacular women, Aykroyd said. I was mad at them at the time because I was supposed to be a producer on there, and I didn't do my job and I didn't argue about costs. And it costs perhaps more than it should, and they all do. All these movies do. The film cost $144 million and went on to make $229.1 million at the global box office, with the film's financial loss estimated at about $70 million. Though the 2016 film counts as the second-highest-grossing Ghostbusters film behind the 1984 original, it was also the most expensive, costing nearly twice as much as 2021's Ghostbusters, Afterlife. But boy, I like that film, Aykroyd continued. I thought that the villain at the end was great. I loved so much of it. And of course, Kate McKinnon and Leslie Jones and Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig, you're never going to do better than that. So I go on the record as saying I'm so proud to have been able to license that movie and have a hand and have a part in it, and I'm fully supportive of it, and I don't besmirch it at all. I think it works really great amongst all the ones that have been made. Just the announcement of an all-female Ghostbusters sparked a backlash, as did the trailer, leading it to become, at the time, the most disliked trailer in YouTube history. Though the film itself garnered solid reviews, the audience score sat at a dismal 49% on Rotten Tomatoes. McCarthy and the rest of the cast expressed their disappointment in the chilly and downright cruel reception, with the spy star opining in 2021, I don't get the fight to see who can be the most negative and the most hate-filled. Everybody should be able to tell the story they want to tell. If you don't want to see it, you don't have to see it.